Yo guys, it's Larry. You already know that today I'm bringing you guys another episode of the Pokemon Showdown in you Nuzlocke. And, um, yeah, so if you guys haven't caught the first two episodes, you might want to go check that out. Explains all the rules, and, um, on the last episode we lost a battle, which means that there's six Pokemon that we cannot use for the remainder of the series. Um, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, so that's a thing. Um, so I had to construct a whole new team. Um, so that's the reason that this video may be, uh, you know, a few days after, or like a week after the last one. Um, but I do plan on recording a couple episodes, so, uh, the next few should be pretty, you know, back-to-back-ish. Um, give or take a day or two. So, I'm going to go ahead and explain the team that I'm going to be starting this episode with. Uh, if we have a short battle, we'll do two battles. If it's like a long battle, like last episode, we'll just do one battle. Um, and, you know, because I want to keep, uh, each episode kind of pretty short. So, hopefully you guys, uh, are cool with that, um, basic summary, you know, trying to use all the mons in the NU tier, and if they die in a battle, we can't use them for the rest of the series, and we keep going until we run out of Pokemon to use. So every Pokemon in the NU tier must be used, um, and this series is focused on having fun, not necessarily being the best. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and, um, do that. So, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, talk about my team, uh, especially defensive Claydol, because I wanted especially defensive Rabbit Spinner. It seemed like that would have been really, come in really handy, uh, in past games. So, um, I have that with Stealth Rock and Toxic and, um, Leftovers and hopefully it won't die. Uh, I have an Assault Vest, Vital Spirit, Electivire, um, as just kind of something to do with Vivian. <laughs> because I didn't really have much for that before. Uh, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Earthquake, and Full Switch, because, sure. Uh, we got a Lipard, which Thunder Wave, uh, Focus Sash, um, U-Turn, Knock, off Sucker Punch, so Thunder Wave is going to be important because I have a pretty slow team, um, but it can be powerful uh, given the right circumstances. Um, so Thunder Wave support uh, is the main thing. And then knockoff, Sucker Punch, uh, you turn, you know, you know how it is. Um, I'm going to have Specially Defensive Vile Plume. Uh, this isn't what was going to be originally, but I figured that uh, it could really come in handy. Maybe I'll look into Physically Defensive. Hopefully, um, Vile Plume can survive a match and I can kind of gauge whether this should be Physically or Specially Defensive. Uh, but it's just Dual Stab, Synthesis, and Leech Seed. Uh, I probably don't need Synthesis and Leech Seed. Um, so one of those moves may be changed, but I'm not going to change it yet. Uh, I'm going to do a battle first. Um, psychic types are really annoying. There's a lot of them in NU, so uh, I got to resist and cling clang. <laughs> I got max HP, max special attack, choice specs, flash cannon, signal beam, volt switch, uh, a toxic. Because, I mean, move coverage is not cling, cling clang's specialty. Also being a special attacker really isn't cling clang's specialty, but I'm making it one, so deal with it. And then we have Samurai, uh, because water types are cool. Um, I needed it for- I, I wanted a water type for some reason, I don't remember what that reason was. Probably fire types, because, yeah, fire types are pretty ow. Um, but there's only like two of them in NU, so hopefully I'll be okay. Uh, I've just got a Sword Stance, Aqua Jet, Razor Shell, Mega Horn, Life Orb, Shell Armor, so I can, can't get to crit Samurai. So let's see how this- uh, team goes. I am going to make sure that I am under the Slyro. I did find out uh, that uh, I was still pretty low on the ladder for um, the uh, the last one. Um, I was still like around 1100, so uh, this one's probably around the same, so uh, it didn't really make much difference. But let's go ahead and get a battle. Uh, sorry, NU team. Yes, it is. And let's try and win. I don't know that I can win given this team, but all right. So we have a Regirock uh, and a Mesprit. Both are stealth rockers. So I'm going to assume that it's going to be one of them. Uh, I kind of want to lead with Clink Clang. Um, if he leads with Regirock, Flash Cannon would do a lot. Um, and I can just hope that he doesn't Earthquake me. I don't think one Earthquake would kill. Let's go with Clink Clang. Lead off with Clink Clang. Let's do it. Let's show off our Specs Flash Cannon, and um, maybe we should just Toxic. Yeah, that's actually probably a better idea. So he's probably just going to Stealth Rock. Uh, and then I can just go into Claydol. And I can just Rapid Spin them away, unless he double switches, which he could. But now he's going to set up the Sunny Day. Oh boy, oh boy. Um... I have 
plenty of stuff to deal with grass types though, so hopefully that should be okay. Uh, I am a bit worried about the Charizard, uh, not gonna lie, just a little bit. So that toxic damage is going to rack up. Uh, I'm gonna get up my own Stealth Rocks, because I don't... Well, he has a Defog in Shift Tree, but um, yeah, I mean, that would be good for me. So I win this 1v1, he's wasting Sunny Day turns. Um, so I'm cool with this. Uh, possibly a wasted rapid spin if he's just going to defog. A part of me wants to uh, be really risky and just toxic, but if he does go for knockoff, that wouldn't be super good for me. I really think that physically defensive Vileplume would have been the way to go, but I'm going to switch into it now, assuming he's going to defog. Nope, he's just going to go for the knockoff. That did too much. Ooh, that did way too much. Did way too much, way too much. Um, hmm. I really want to keep Vileplume alive. I don't see how I can keep it alive this match, though. I really, really don't see how I can keep this alive this match. Oh, I've wasted a Vileplume. I should have made this thing physically defensive. Um... Let me see if there's a way I feel like I can save this. I don't think I can. I feel like I have to sack something. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna synthesis. Uh, possibly sack Vileplume. Yeah. I should have made it physically offensive. Uh, I think that would have been a better, better idea. Oh, Vileplume's such a really good Pokemon. I feel so silly. Um, alright, so I could T-Wave it. Um, the fly part. Actually, I could just U-turn. Uh, because I have a Focus Sash, so I don't really care too much about what he does. I can at least kill the Shift Tree, which is a huge threat. Alright, so Shift Tree dies. That's good. <sighs> um... Kling Kling is a pretty good option. Um, the Sun's still up for two turns, so that will bait out the Charizard. Um, I think I'm okay with that. If I bait out the Charizard, it's coming into rocks. Anything else I could send in, I can hit. Yeah, Victory Bell, I don't know. Okay, he's just gonna sack off the Reggie Rock. Interesting. Alright, so Reggie Rock's dead. And the sun's gone. Uh, now there's a Mesprit. How much, does how much does a Specs Flash Cannon do to Mesprit? I want to find out. Faster. Ah, it's going to send. It's going to do another sunny day. Uh, I want to go into Live Part, but I can't quite risk it. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I do have Fire Punch on Electrifier. Might not be the worst thing. I'm gonna switch. I feel like he's gonna switch. Okay, that's Charizard. Um, solar power. I am a salt vest. This is going to hurt though. Or I could go into Samurai. How much is this gonna hurt? Only one way to find out, because Samurai doesn't have a good matchup against anything else on the team. Ooh, Flamethrower. That did a lot. That was resisted hit. Um. Well, shoot. Uh, oh. Ah, I forgot it. Speed is not that good. Um, I don't know that an Aqua Jet will kill. But, I'm gonna try. Yeah! Go Samurai! And now, I think I'm good here. So he has Grass, Poison... I don't think there's anything that he can do to Kling Clang, and I really hope that I'm right. Oh, that is going to suck. Um... The Signal Beam. Weather Ball. What? What? Weather ball? What the heck? 
Alright, so maybe I lose. <laughs> hey, this team was actually working pretty well. I can't can't help it that I found a weather ball, solar beam. What the heck? Dude, any stupid. It's so stupid. Alright, well <laughs> Like what the heck? Hey, we live. Hey, he doesn't. Um I mean, actually, I still have a chance. Um that didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright. It didn't matter. I, I mean my um my cling cling was faster. So obviously my electabar would be faster. All right, all right, we're gonna win. We are going to win. Um, my part is max speed, so I can just knock off and I'll be good. All right, so my part and Samurott are still alive. Holy crap, that was intense. All right, so my part and Samurott are still alive <laughs> for this game. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, that happened. That was a really scary team. Weather Ball, Victory Bell. I, I can't. I can't even from that. So, <laughs> I think we're going to keep it at one battle today. I'm going to go ahead, go uh, put some more, reconstruct the pieces. Uh, of course, uh, Lipard and Samurai did survive, which means that they have to stay on the team. I can't take them off and save them for later. I'm going to keep them on the team and add four other um, mons on. I can change the sets if I feel like it. Uh, and uh, you'll find out next episode if I decide to change any of their sets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you thought. If you guys have any ideas for sets that you, uh, Pokemon that you might want to see me use in the future, feel free to let me know. Um, and if, you know, I see the comment before I record an episode of me using that Pokemon, maybe I will take it into consideration. Um, and that would be a big help to me in terms of team building. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, uh, stay sly.